Vern Kyle here. When you are operating other equipment or tandem axle truck, the differential lock switch may gather dust, but not with a grater. In some cases, you can't make the cut unless it's on, and you can't steer the machine unless it's off. Whether you are doing snow removal or building streets, the diff lock switch is going to be logged into your muscle memory. In this video, I'm going to talk about ways to operate a grader and let it live another day. Other heavy equipment can be pretty resilient, but there are ways that you can operate a grader that will definitely do it in. Diff lock on, diff lock off. You may use the diff lock a hundred times a day, off and on. I know I do. And it's important to turn it on and off at a certain point. Don't, uh, for example, okay, the differential lock is on right now. Now, if I steer, it starts to put stress on the differential lock and now watch what happens when I take it off. Okay don't do that you know but, uh, we'll, but I'm just I'm just showing you uh, about it so uh, now the differential is free free turning the differential lock is off and uh, you notice like so basically don't turn it on and off in the middle of a turn here I am okay I'll, again I'll try it we'll put the differential lock on and I'll take a little bit of a turn here and watch how it loads up the differential. It's actually, it's actually, uh, the differential is locked and it's, it's putting stress on the rear axles right now because the differential is locked and you're trying to turn at the same time. And you see when I took it off, how it jarred the machine. It's a good idea not to do that. Uh, know it's it's a good idea to take your differential lock off switch it off when your when your axles are basically free of stress they've uh, they're the stress has relieved out of them and I'll show it to you again okay the differential lock is on now now the axle is stressed out right now because I'm, I'm trying to turn on good traction and it's uh, so there'll be a lot of stress on the axle right now trying to hold the differential lock but now if I just let the grater relax and let it come back a little bit and then turn it off, it's good, you see? But if I turned it off in the middle of the turn, now it's, str it's, str it's torqued up again. But if I just let it rest and let it go back, it's fine. So that's all you gotta do to... Uh, it's important to know how to operate that differential lock properly and not to you can break your axles if you don't... Uh, if you constantly do that, if you constantly uh, put your differential lock on and off while you're turning, especially if you're in good traction, you can break your axle, it can uh, screw up your differential, it's not a good thing to do. So see if you do it all the time, you're going to pay for it, you're going to screw up your, uh, you're going to screw up your differential. The differential lock on these things is uh, it's pretty sturdy, but you got to be careful about it. Another thing I'm going to mention about the differential lock is uh, it's actually a clutch pack. I have overhauled mine, so I know what it's like because I literally, I've literally had mine apart. So it's it's a wet clutch pack. It's about a it's about a nine inch clutch pack. And it's inside the differential and uh, it's pretty sturdy so in this photo you can see that clutch pack when the diff lo is locked there is hydraulic pressure on those clutch discs when it is unlocked the pressure is released take note of where I have labeled the crown gear you will see it in the next photo. For people that are familiar with mechanics, you will know exactly 
what you are looking at here. And if you're not interested in mechanics, at least you will know what's going on inside the machine when you hit that switch. This is from my 14H, but differentials haven't changed much in 50 years. So if you are using an M series grader, it will be very similar. You see where I have labeled the crown gear in this photo. The differential lock clutch pack is located just behind it. And it is linked to the axles. Of course, when the differential is installed, all of these components are submerged in oil. Another interesting thing about these differential locks in a cat grater is they're normally on. And that means that if you lose power, if you turn off your master switch, the differential lock is always on. Because when you're bearing down on one side, say if I'm cutting, if I'm cutting on one side uh, of the machine, if I'm cutting on one side and I don't have my differential lock on, of course, it's going to, it's going to spin the wheels. You see my wheels are spinning right now? Watch me turn my, I'll turn my differential lock on. I'll just, I'll just ease it on. Watch this. The differential lock is on and it instantly stopped that wheel from turning. Now it's off and away it goes. That's how the diff lock works. Anyway, I want to talk about diff lock. Another thing I wanted to talk about regarding, uh, things not to do with the grater or else you'll eventually wreck the grater is be careful how you I'm going to talk about this circle I'm going to talk about the uh, preserving this gear If you mess around with a circle gear too much, you will break that gear. And, and uh, I've broken them before. I've replaced them. I've had it apart. I've, and I'm going to talk about it right now. Watch this. If I stick my blade out quite a ways, it's going to open my, open my door so we can see it better. Now watch this. something right now. Here is the circle drives. Right there. Now, underneath here, underneath this cover, there's a couple gears. They're made out of aluminum. And uh, if you if you put too much torque on them, or you start messing around with those gears too much, you will break these gears. And under here is a clutch. It's a slip clutch. It's also a little wet pack. It's only about a four incher, five incher. But uh, you take these four bolts out. 
and there's a clutch pack underneath there and you can set that clutch uh, maybe I'll make a video about how to set that clutch I'll make a separate video on how to set that clutch but it's a pretty important thing to set it properly a lot of times they're set too stiff and they won't they won't release anyway but so I've got mine set pretty slack so you notice when I tried to dig in hard dirt there it slipped and I knew you know it's, it's a good thing that it slips because I know when it slips it's not going to break that gear. It's not going to break the gears in there. And those gears are expensive. They can be. Uh, it's about a. It's about a three thousand dollar fix if you break those gears. So you've got to be careful about that. That's another thing you can break in a grader. Here is another bad habit that grader operators get into. If dirt is stuck to the blade, some operators will use the articulation lever. They will jerk it back and forth to make the machine shake violently. That will dislodge the dirt, but it is harmful to the machine. I would like to draw your attention to the blue circle on this freeze frame. You see where I labeled the ram. There is one of these hydraulic rams on each side and they actuate the articulation steering on the grater. The red paint represents two pins that attach the ram. These pins are surrounded by bushings. The bushings are made of fiberglass and several of these violent shakes will compromise these fiberglass bushings and they will have to be replaced. If I was on this road and I had to turn around and, uh, and if you have to go up a bank don't uh, Don't approach a straight up and down bank. Now here, this is about a uh, like a 20 or 30 centimeter bank. Okay. Don't approach it with your wheels cranked like this. Do not do this. Do not do it this way, because what'll happen is it'll break your tie rods, and I've done it before. It'll uh, if you put enough pressure on these. So don't approach a bank like this if you, with your wheels cranked. Always approach it like this, with your wheels straight. Then you've got no problem. You can, you can come up the bank and come up the bank with your other wheel and your tie rods will be fine. But if you approach it with your wheels cranked sideways like that, you'll break your tie rods. So don't do it. You gotta approach, approach a little bank like that with your wheels straight not cranked over like this. You do it like that, you're going to break your tie rods. Straighten them, and then you can go over the bank. So that's another, that's another thing to avoid. To create these videos, I am using footage that I shot on the job site last summer. If you find these videos helpful or interesting, please like and subscribe. If you have some input, please leave a comment below.